Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the news. First, a look at the weather. Winds are scattered out of Chernobyl at about 20 picocuries per meter, but weathermen say there is no cause for alarm. In sports, the argument concerning putting lights in Wrigley Field is over. Due to an unusually heavy rain, the field is permanently lit. Umpires stress that there is no cause for alarm. It was another busy day on Wall Street. Milk prices were down, caviar was down, vodka was down, borscht was down. Wall Street insiders say there is no cause for alarm. Now this. Sick of going to places that are always cold? Come to Scandinavia. The warmth will astound you and be with you for years afterwards. And best of all, there's no cause for alarm. Coming up, a special report on farming techniques for radioactive soil and an editorial about the lack of cause for alarm. In local news, slightly increased levels of radiation throughout the food supply is not considered cause for alarm. Nor is possible contamination of the groundwater and soil from radioactive rains. Also not considered cause for alarm is a minor radiation leak at the nearby nuclear power plant, a toxic spill from a truck accident on the local highway, asbestos ceilings in many buildings, midnight dumping of industrial wastes, acid rain, PCBs, formaldehyde insulation, charbroiled steaks, and other people's cigarette smoke. Everything is fine. More news in a moment. Until then, there is no cause for alarm.